Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a full review to do for you. This is the Riat K2, but it is not a normal <laughs> Riat K2. Um, first things first, it was loaned to me by my buddy Thomas Moore. I'll link to his Instagram down below. Um, if you're into spider coats, you'll like his Instagram. And he's been dabbling in quite a few other non spider co knives lately. Um, his tastes are evolving, although I think he'll always be loyal to spider co but he posts amazing knife photos, and he's a really cool dude. So he loaned me this knife to check out. And I was excited at the opportunity because I've been curious about the React K2 for a while, but this one is a dealer exclusive from um, the Knife Joker. And I'll link to the Knife Joker down below as well. Um, I have followed the Knife Joker for quite a while, and Travis, who's behind it, and uh, we're in some of the same Facebook groups. I think I'm even in his Facebook group. And anyways, I, I've always liked that he's a retailer here in California who carries a lot of cool knives. He's got an extensive collection of Riats available. Um, really cool dude. But he did this series of exclusives of the K2, and they each feature a fat carbon show scale, a zirconium pocket clip and a zirconium backspacer. So this one has the green fat carbon, as you can see, and it is a really cool material. I like fat carbon, and I don't know how I haven't owned personally a knife in fat carbon yet. I'm going to change that soon. I also think zirconium is a cool material. It's got like kind of a high shine to it, but it's dark, um, and it just looks good to me. This one has the zirk pocket clip, and backspacer matching that. Um, so cool materials. It's an enhanced version of a knife that has already been largely popular for Riat, and I can see why. So this is a big boy. I believe this blade is four inches. I might be a hair off, but it's around there. Um, we've got a nice hollow grind for the primary bevel, and then a flat grind for this kind of Japanese style tanto up here. It's a hand rubbed finish. I believe all of these exclusives are hand rubbed. It's M390, and as you can see, it's just a stunning blade with that hand rub and that profile on it. Goodness, it looks good. Um, really, really like this blade profile and how it looks, and as I've come to expect with Riat, it's just a phenomenally smooth action. It's a refined knife. So. The K2 as a model, like I said, I've been curious about for a while. Um, I like the blade profile. I like the way the knife looks fairly simple, but it's kind of classy and, and looks good. This version is definitely, in my opinion, the coolest version that has ever come out, these exclusives. Um, he offered it in a number of different fat carbon colors as well. There was this green, there was blue, there was red, and I think there was purple. Pretty sure it was those four. Um, so there's options as well, or there were. I'm pretty sure they're sold out at this point. I don't know if he'll do more or if that's in the cards or what. I'm not an expert on this knife, but I'm going to talk about it nonetheless. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's options in terms of fat carbon colors. I believe they're all hand rubbed, and they all have the same zirconium components. So really, um, this is just a, a dressed up, beautiful version of a knife that is already pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I've known a lot of people who've spoken highly of the K2. I know people who carry them and use them and say that they work well, um, but I was curious about it. So for me, the knife is on the bigger side. But lately I've been into larger knives, and so I'm not opposed to how big this knife is. And what's nice to me is, for being such a large knife, the ergonomics feel really, really good. Um, I don't feel like this knife is unwieldy at all. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's got this nice handle profile where my two foremost fingers kind of go into a little bit of a groove there, and then there's this kind of bulge here. I guess it almost is a point, but it feels more like a bulge in hand, and then it comes down a little bit and it swoops out. There is jimping back here, which I would rather not have. I'm not a fan of jimping, but honestly, when I'm choked forward on this knife like I want to be, my pinky just barely clears that jimping. I'm not even on it. So really, that jimping only comes into play if I'm choked back, or I imagine if you had larger hands than I would, then you'd start to feel it there. But I think what's happening is it's more designed for a reverse grip, because there's also jimping up here on the back spacer, and then coupled with it right here for my pointer finger. It is a really locked in reverse grip. I don't see this knife really 
I don't know, it's perplexing to me. I didn't imagine that this knife would be one that would be designed to favor a reverse grip, but this is a phenomenal reverse grip. And as like a tactical knife, I was having an interesting conversation just this morning about tactical knives. I don't think this is a tactical knife at all, but it's a tanto point, which a lot of people associate with tactical knives. It's a longer blade. And so it would make a good defensive knife, I think, especially the fact that it's got such a phenomenal reverse grip on it. I love reverse grips that actually take into consideration your thumb wrapping around the top of the knife. If I'm in a reverse grip, that's what I want because that keeps my hand locked in from sliding down onto the blade if I am piercing into something. It's just well thought out. It's a, a remarkably good reverse grip on a knife that I didn't think would have even made that consideration. Um, so yeah, it feels good in a saber grip, good in a hammer grip, good in a reverse grip. Reverse grip draw cut is fine. Um, it's actually quite good. And then forward grip draw cut be real careful here because this is a beautiful knife <laughs> is also very good so it's a neutral enough handle that it feels good in every single grip but it does have enough shaping to it that it also feels really locked in now this knife doesn't have texture anywhere other than that little bit of jimping back here and then a little bit up here so the fact that i feel as locked in as i do without any jimping on it is a very good thing um, and without any texture on it, even more so, I should say. A lot of knives rely on texture to lock you in instead of actual good ergos. This knife just has really good ergos, and that's what's locking me in. That is my preference. I would rather have ergos that lock me in than have like pocket shredding, finger tearing materials <laughs> that lock me in. Um, so this is a win, in my opinion. It's a very well-designed handle. Um, this knife, it's interesting to me because when I look at it, especially this side, when I look at the lock side, it looks really simple to me. It's a very simple frame lock. The lines on it aren't busy. Um, it almost looks too simple from this side. It's like kind of plain. The Zerk pocket clip helps for sure, but it, it's not like, it's not overly designed at all. The show side, being in fat carbon on this one, is much busier, and I like the way that looks aesthetically a lot. But it's, it's this weird thing where I feel like this knife is super simple, especially when I just look at it, but each time that I pick it up and start feeling it and playing with it, the better I feel the design is. Because the way it relates in my hand, like if I'm blindfolded and holding this knife, it just feels really, really high-end. Um, and it looks high-end too, don't get me wrong, but I think really it's just this side. It looks more basic than what the knife feels like. So I'm really glad you get such a dramatic show side with the fat carbon. I'm glad you do have the touch of zirconium. And then I guess when the knife is open and it's on the lock side, the blade really steals the show because the blade is gorgeous. But when the knife is closed and you're just looking at the lock side, it looks pretty basic. And so it's, it's just interesting. I almost wish there was just something happening on the lock side. I don't know if like a cool color of Anno would be the right answer, or if they did like some micro milling, or maybe if the, I don't know, if the pivot hardware was like cool and fancy or something, it just seems really basic over here. But that's me being real nitpicky because like I said, blindfolded, it feels fantastic. Open, I think it looks less basic because of that blade. And the show side is remarkable. Um, one thing to mention as well, there is a little bit of internal milling on the lock side. Um, so this, this knife, for being as large as it is, is pretty lightweight. <laughs> um, it's, it's not a featherweight, but being carbon and internally milled titanium on the lock side, there's still size happening here. So we've got a big, thick blade stock of M390. Um, and so there's, there's that. But it's pretty light for its size. Um, now, I haven't cut anything with this knife, and I haven't carried this knife anywhere. It is sat on my desk, and I've played with it. I brought it up here today in my knife carrying case, um, where it's padded and in its own slot, because this is a loner, and it's a gorgeous, exclusive version of this knife, and so I haven't used it at all. So I can't speak from experience based on how it carries or how it cuts, because I haven't done it. So I'm not going to even try to. Um, but I will say it has a fantastically sharp edge on it. It is thin behind the edge because of this hollow grind. Um, they've really done a good job at thinning out that M390. And I imagine with this Japanese style Tanto, which is flat ground up at the front, it would be quite good at piercing tasks. Haven't done it, 
so I can't say for certain, but I, I, I know a thing or two about knives, and I would guess that this would actually be a fantastic knife to use. Um, so yeah, I guess those are my, my thoughts on this one. I don't know whether I could call this a full review because I, I like to use and carry the things that I full review. So maybe it's just a full impressions or something like that. Um, but I'm really glad I got to check this thing out. It's just really smooth. It's really an excellent knife. Um, yeah, so that is the React K2, Knife Joker exclusive. Thank you to Thomas Moore for sending it to me to check out. He and the Knife Joker will be linked down below so you can check them out. And uh, that'll be it on this one. Thanks for watching, guys.